So I'm here with uh, Buana Chris Wagamila of Project C. That's Project Stop Exporting Evil. Evil, yeah. Yeah. And we're talking about the situation in East Africa, in Kenya, and around Africa, and what we can do um, to try to to serve the truth and to try to lead, especially the young people. You know, we have a demographic problem mm -hmm. in the world, Chris. Um, there are not enough children and a lot of confusion and a lot of pornography also true, in our communities yeah. coming mm -hmm. through these uh, mobile devices. How can we equip young people not to be um, uh, poisoned in their bodies <laughs> uh, through, uh, through chemical contraceptives and poisoned in their minds through the pornography and through the lies that are out there? We, so we've been talking about that. Very much. We, we, should, not, we should not let it go. What we are supposed to do is we just have to keep on fighting. You know, as Project C, uh, I feel like we 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 are we are we have a mandate. Mm. We have a responsibility mm. because we have the the, the 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 content in our hands. Mm. We have the real picture of what exactly we are supposed to do on the ground, mm -hmm. so that we educate these young people. On their chest, it's written, awaiting instructions because they are young. So whatever they are doing, they, somebody somewhere instructed them to do it. But if we correct them, if we give them the right methods, if we give them the right information, believe you me, we are going to change our society. Yes, and, um, we, were, we were talking of um, how we are going to become a little bit, we, I mean, we are going to be with more impact. Yeah. in the society yeah. as Project C. As Project C. Because we are so, yes, we are doing whatever we are doing, but yet we have not yet gotten to the ground. Mm -hmm. We are still floating somewhere. Mm -hmm. We are not yet passing this information intensely mm -hmm. to our youths. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what we were sharing about. And that's what I was saying is, yes, I am running. Every other person is running. But if we are not going to put every other thing in one basket so that we are able to do it with an impact. When we say we want to go to the streets and do something there, we move as a block, then but we are still weak. Well, I'm, I'm with you, Chris, we on that. And, and I'll support you to bring, um, as much as I can, to bring more organization to Project C. Uh, uh, any way that I can help and any way that I can support, um, I'm for it. And everything, especially what you're saying about HPV, it needs to be harmonized. Yes. I think with everything that Madame Carrera oh, is saying yes. on television and <clears throat> at schools, um, if we can coordinate and harmonize those things, the main thing, I want to make sure that we maintain what uh, Reverend Michael Bray yes. was saying in this book mm -hmm. uh, called A Time to Kill by Michael Bray. I've been recording it and I'm hoping to finish it this week yeah. in audio, but that the pre-born children deserve equal defense, the same defense yes, as born as children, born child. even as we educate mm -hmm. about HPV. By the way, this weekend, we did a sexual, um, a sex in the Bible yes. uh, conference, a cool. little little mini seminar. Uh, I think we did four sessions uh -huh. on uh, yeah. from Friday night to, to Sunday, to the youth? Sunday evening. With, yeah, with, with, with young adults. Ah. So it was not for children, okay. but young adults. One of the issues, you talk about HPV a lot. Mm -hmm. One of the issues mm -hmm. that came up was I uh, strongly recommended the young men, they should not put their mouths on anyone's, anyone's genitalia, but anyone's no. vagina. It's even, even your wife. It's even your wife, if, when you're yeah. married one day. Uh, don't do it. If simply, even if you love and trust one another, if, if only, number one, I personally believe it's a demeaning place for a yes. man to put his mouth yes. in such a place. But on a medical side, uh, you can you can tell me if I'm correct about this, Bonacris, yes. uh -huh. but women, even women who are, don't have per se an HPV infection or even a ver very virulent strain, most women have some form of HPV cultured in their cervix or vagina in that area. Very true. Because Very it's true. moist and everything's internal mm -hmm. for a woman, unlike a man who's external. Really? So most, mm -hmm. many men are not culturing HPV at all. The women may have a resistance to it. But when the man exposes his mouth to uh, that culture of HPV, or maybe other uh, microbes, yes. viruses or bacteria, mm -hmm. there, but especially HPV, he can develop mouth, mouth cancer. Mouth cancers are there. We've treated some. In fact, uh, I wish I would have time to show you all this. But the fact is, if okay, the vagina keeps it. It's like a, 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 
uh, an incubating area mm -hmm. for the HPV. And that's why most women, most women, at, at one time in their lifetime, they will be diagnosed with an HPV virus. If it's not a strain, several of them. And, and it doesn't why. even mean she acquired it sexually, no. necessarily. She can no. just acquire it. Yeah. yeah. We, we are told, okay, from the urethral, where you see the urine, mm. to the bladder, it's only four centimeters. Mm. But for a man, it's the whole 20 centimeters uh -huh. to get in. So uh -huh. you can imagine how close you the, the genitalia arrangement is for I never female, knew. I never knew that. For yeah. men. I mean, I knew, but yeah. But the picture is women incubate the virus. Mm. And that's why the, the, the issue of cervical cancer mm. is rampant. Rampant. It's simply because it's it's very conducive for this virus. Mm. It keeps it warm. It can hide it anywhere mm. in the cervix all along even to the vagina itself. Mm. Mm. But the picture is no man should put mouth or even a female to keep on having those no one should put, yeah. oral sex. Right. Let me put it openly. Yeah. Oral sex. Of course. It's so, such a sad thing. Yeah. We should just stop it. The fact is we are supposed just to be very gentle and very organized yeah. as grown-ups. Or even young men and women who are listening to this should be very organized so that we are able to, to, to control this issue of sexual yeah. uh, HPV right. that is really rampant. Yeah. That's what I talk about. And now that to come back to your topic, Banatul, you've just mentioned the issue of, of, of Madame Carrera talking about sex yes. to the young generation, which is fine. The question is to all Project C members, Yes, you and I are doing activities differently in your country, in your town, in your county, in whatever area you are. We respect that. My challenge to this team is, and I'm not worried to mention it on with our director here, why don't we bring all these ideas together so that we have an impact to the society. Very good, very good. Why don't we, me, Madam Karira, our, our country chairperson, Bwana Kingori, our directors and so many other people who are around us come together, sit, put our ideas together and bring one idea to the Project C so that we are moving as one block. If we have to put on something like a, a, a demonstration here and there, we are there as a team, not as an individual, not as Chris, not as Madame Karira. Or not Speaking Madame, with one voice. But we have yeah. just to speak with one voice so that our the, the impact is felt, even with the government itself. But as much as we are doing... It's such a small thing because we can we cannot compare ourselves with the with the with the, with these uh, other groups that are anti, or rather that are pro uh, pro they are not pro life. Let me use that term. Yeah, yeah. They, they they have fans. They can move very fast. When they notice that we are trying to swing in, they go ahead of us. That is the way we are supposed even us to work. We are supposed to be up the game. I mean, before they attack, we are already there doing our, our mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. So kindly, my request is, let us bring our heads together. We have so many ideas, but we want to be together on the desk, sharing, putting everything down, so that we are able to hit the ground the way it's supposed to be hit. I agree. I agree. We've, we need to bring it to that level. And I ask God, please, to help us to organize, to, to yes. reach that level. Um, so that so that we can uh, prevent, uh, you know, an ounce of provision, prevention is worth a pound of cure. Yes. We can prevent people from, uh, as Madam Carrera said, uh, we want them to know before they wish they knew. So um, I agree. Let's work together to, to yes. move it to that level. Um, as I organize in the weeks while I'm here. Yes. And when I go back, I, I'm willing to work together with you and the mm -hmm. team mm -hmm. to try to implement a plan to coordinate nationwide and regionally yes. so that so that we are not running around like chickens with our heads cut off mm -hmm. but we have a we have a purpose we have a purpose. as long as exactly. as long as and we can and we can band together and team with others also and collaborate and organizations yeah, 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 yeah. organizations so many of them. individuals and organizations yes. 
As and long as we don't compromise on this question of um, uh, any contraceptives, yes, or especially coils, coils, uh, any intrauterine devices, so many, I can't them. compromise yeah. on, mm-hmm. on that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and also on this this idea that the preborn deserve the same defense as the born. That should be our mantle. We should always be holding on that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That we are not going to give any little leeway to that kind of a statement. Yeah. That we are, are supposed to stand out and make it so loud. In fact, we are supposed just to give it as an, our aim yeah. for this group. Equal now, treatment under the law. Under the law. Yeah. And remember, we are not going to put it like we wait for long. I would suggest the earlier, the better. So we, me, my request to you, Bona Director, is kindly organize a national meeting so that we can sit down, talk, come up with one agenda that we are going to share to every, each and everyone and have a meeting soonest yeah. possible so that by the end of the year, we have a plan of what to do next. Right. Thank you. I'm the founder. We really haven't come together and appointed um, yes. a, 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 a director. So that maybe is what we can what we can do. Can work yeah. on that. That's yeah. fine. I think we can. That is all right. Mm-hmm. It's good to see you, team. Um, I don't know if we'll make this public or not. I know uh, one of Chris has an engagement. I'm I'm making him late too now. Sure. But thank you for your time and God bless you. God bless you too. Thank you. All right. All right.